What's cracking everybody? It's me, Scuba Steve, and today I'm going to teach you some do's and don'ts of snorkeling. Stay tuned. Tip number one, don't freak out. It is what it sounds like. When you get into the water to snorkel, you can be a really good swimmer or you don't have to know how to swim at all. That's right, I said it. You can leisurely snorkel without knowing how to swim. But you still have to be careful. But when you come into the water, respect it, but don't be afraid of it. Just like sharks. Tip number two, don't breathe underwater. <laughs> It sounds crazy, I know, to think that you're gonna breathe underwater when you snorkel, but a lot of people, including myself when I first started, have done this in the past. Because you think when you have a snorkel in your mouth, whether you're underwater or above, you can just breathe, right? Eh, wrong. When you go underwater, fully submerging your snorkel pipe, that's full of water. You have to purge it. So when you're underwater, a lot of times you forget that it's fully submerged, and you'll go to just take a big old breath, and you've just inhaled a lung capacity full of water. So when you're underwater, what do you do? Well, just like I demonstrated, you purge your snorkel. Don't number three. Don't horseplay while you're snorkeling. I get it, I grew up with guys wanting to throw and wrestle and everything in the water, and that's great, and you're allowed to do that, but when you're snorkeling, respect that time of it being a, just a therapeutic leisure activity, especially if the person that's snorkeling doesn't know you're about to attack them. Why? Well, if I'm over here snorkeling and I can't see what's happening above the water, and you just think you're gonna jump and start having fun and wrestling and stuff, I'm gonna go underwater and probably be freaked out like you shouldn't do on step one, right? And I'm gonna inhale a bunch of water in the process. So that's never a good time. So don't number three, do not horseplay while you're snorkeling. So we've covered three don'ts when it comes to snorkeling. Let's look at the three do's. Mountain Dew. Number one. <laughs> so don't freak out was the one on what not to do in snorkeling. So the complete opposite, which is just relax. This is a leisure activity, whether you can swim like a pro or you can't swim at all. You can come out here in shallow water or deep to your comfort level and you can just have fun. All you need are two to three items of gear anyway, which is a mask, snorkel, and fins if you preference fins. I'm currently not wearing fins because my feet are oddly shaped like fins anyway. So when you come out here, whether it's in a swimming pool, the lake like this, or any body of water, even your bathtub, as long as you relax and have fun, you are doing the only goal that snorkeling entails. Number two, watch your surroundings. Watch your surroundings. Watch your surroundings. Although snorkeling is super fun and super relaxing, it can be problematic if you don't watch your surroundings, whether that's above water or underwater. If you're in lakes, watch out for rocks, debris, logs, and things of that nature. If you're in the ocean, watch out for the wildlife that's underneath. If you're in your bathtub, watch out for the shampoo and the conditioner. And if you're at your local pool or amusement park, watch out for the blue water. You know they put a chemical in the pool that turns urine blue. No, 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 it's an old, it's an old wives' tale, sweetie. It's an old wives' tale. Because there's nothing worse when you're snorkeling than bonking your head on a rock or a piece of wood and you're having a concussion, or they think you're just snorkeling for a really long time when you're unconscious. <laughs> Purging. Purging is the make or break for having a good snorkel adventure. Uh, if you're underwater, you don't want to have water in the snorkel, so the way to release that is to purge. Now, this is just a standard silicone snorkel, so there is no purge valve on the top or the bottom, so I manually have to exhale the air underneath the water to push the water out, so I'm doing a manual purge. But there are purge snorkels, they're called dry snorkels, where they have the purge valve right here and they have the bead up top, which helps to keep the water out. It doesn't do a foolproof job, it's not designed to do that. So when you're underwater with a snorkel like this, and I'm showing you above water for demonstration purposes, you simply have the air that's in your lungs underwater and you do, and that's how you purge. If you don't purge when you have water built up in your snorkel, you're gonna take in water when you try to breathe. That's a no-no. 
All right, well, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the three do's and the three don'ts I showed you when it comes to snorkeling. Hopefully they help you. And if you found this helpful, please like, share, comment, and smash that subscribe button. It's helping us more than you know. If you want to rock the same mask and snorkel that I'm wearing in this video, link in the description below for KrakenAquatics.com. And check out our dry snorkels in the process. Until next time, I'm Scuba Steve with Kraken Aquatics. We will catch you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.